What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Yak Thrashers. If you have not seen the video I just posted just before this video, then you need to stop watching this video. And you know what? Go ahead and like and subscribe my channel while you're at that. And then stop this video, go over to the other video, and it'll kind of lead you into what I'm getting into today. And kind of my backstory of where I've been the past few months and feel like I've just fell off the face of the earth. But I haven't. I'm back. I'm back in action. I'm ready to get started. So, guys, Today is going to be kind of a little walkthrough. I'm trying to go as fast as possible because I don't want people to see a 20 minute long video and be like, God, I gotta watch this whole thing. Oh my God, it's brutal. But, so I'm gonna try to do it as fast as possible and get it to you and check out the new Bonafide SS-127. Killer new boat by the brand new company, Bonafide Kayaks. Luther Cyphers from Yak Attack and his team has came up with the new and this is this is going to be the kayak for not only the 2018 season but for the seasons to come this is not going nowhere this is he has put so much thought and effort him and his team has put so much thought and effort in this boat it ain't going nowhere i can promise you that right now if you have not yet go out and check them out bonafidekayaks.com and they will give you the full rundown on the whole the whole boat i'm sure a lot of y'all 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 heard about this boat if y'all y'all seen about this boat y'all have already kind of walked watch the walkthrough videos of the whole boat so i'm going to kind of go through as fast as i can i'm going to touch on some of the features of the boat but i'm also going to mainly focus on what i've already put on the boat and what i have what i'm looking to get into and add to the boat for the 2018 season so guys check them out bonafidekayaks.com i'm going to go ahead and get the camera flipped over and switched on around and get cranking at it here we go yeah uh -huh. uh -huh. here she is the bonafide SS-127, and by the way, SS stands for sit and stand. This boat is going to be 12 foot 7 inches long. It's got, the the width of the boat is going to be 33 and a half inches wide. It, it only weighs 75 pounds, obviously with nothing added to it. But that's, for this magnitude of this boat and the stability of this boat, 75 pounds is nothing compared to the other boats on the market. This is a fantastic boat, and it's going to do wonders in the fishing, in the kayak fishing world. It's going to be killer. And it'll hold all the way up to 475 pounds. So it'll hold the big one, and it'll hold the little one. You dang right it will. But I'm basically going to walk through from the back to the front. Starting at the back, as you can see already in this video, is the way they designed the hole, Bonafide designed the hole, is going to be kind of more of a catamaran type hole or a pontoon type hole. So basically the stability on this thing is phenomenal. You can basically stand on the side of the boat and it ain't gonna catch no water. Killer. Going on up is you got this nice new sturdy handle they came out with. And it's actually on a, a bungee or spring lock system. So basically it folds up and folds down. So if you do wanna add, cause it, uh, it is already rotor ready as you can tell. You can attach right here and over there. And over there you can run your strings or whatever you wanna do to put that rudder on. So whenever you have that handle flipped up, it's not gonna get in the way of the rudder system whatsoever. So killer new feature, that is going to take over the kayak features for all kayaks. A lot of people are gonna be picking up on this new bungee slash spring loaded handle, killer. Going on back, as you can see, Bonafide has already pre-drilled holes for a power pole or a torpedo or a trolling motor, whatever you want to put on the back. It already pre-drilled, so you don't really have to drill into this boat hardly nowhere, anywhere on this boat. So that is a killer feature that a lot of people have already been putting power poles on there, you know, spending all that money, and I might be spending that money too, because that is it's a killer feature. Moving on back, as you can see, you do have a rear hatch, rear little rear tank well hatch, but you can't really access it when you're on the water, which is, which everyone knows if you're using a kayak, you typically do not access the back hatch that much. So basically they went ahead and capped it off, but they left the screws in it. So basically if you do need to wire your power pole, your Tokyo, troll motor, whatever it might be, you can just pop these four screws off and have access to the back where you ain't gotta be fishing wire throughout the whole thing. Moving on, the wide tank wheel. And yes, that is, that is a Yak Attack black pack. If y'all don't know anything about Luther, he is the founder and CEO of Yak Attack. So basically, as you can see, going, walking through this whole boat, you'll keep in mind that he has made everything very, what's the word to say it? Basically, it'll be able to fit any of the Yak Attack accessories and then on top of all the other accessories that come out with kayaks, no matter what brand it is, he has made this boat to fit any and all types. In the tank wheel, you got two pads. 
This is kind of a, the C-Deck pad. Uh, I'm not sure what brand it is. I believe Bonafide just came up with them themselves, but you also see it on the Wilderness System Attack. Um, so basically, it already has the pads already on the boat when you buy it. So, and it's ran pads throughout the whole boat, so you ain't gotta worry about having to put new cushion or new pads in the boat. It, it's already set up for you. On the side of, side of the tank wheel, you got your track system. It runs almost full length of the whole tank wheel, so you can basically mount anything and everything to it. Same thing on the other side. And also, if you notice, like I said, he is the founder and the CEO of Yak Attack, Luther is. So basically, um, he has put the thought and the time into this boat to basically really make it functional for not only Yak Attack uh, accessories, but any and all accessories. So basically, as you can see here, this is the Yak Attack Black Pack, like I just said, but it comes with a nice latching system attached already to the bungee so basically these clips clip right into your yak attack black pack so keep it secure so you ain't got to worry about trying to figure out how you're going to secure that that crate or that black pack straight to and also the good thing about this tank well it is wide enough to hold your black pack long ways or short ways but keep in mind the one thing i have already added to it is um yes it'll fit six rod holders on your black pack turn long ways but whenever you turn it this when you turn it the width of the tank well it does not fit your whichever side your rod holders on so basically what I did as you can see I did a pretty jacked up sawzall cut on my on my rod holders and basically I basically cut them where it'll fit over the boat so basically I can have it set up how I have it and but also it does not take away these these rod tubes neither you can actually fix your fit your rod butt straight down into it and actually it being so close to the tank well wall it secures your rods in there pretty snug so those those ain't going to go nowhere and as you can tell on the other side it fit flush straight down in there so no worries whatsoever when it comes that you just might have to do a little bit of finagling to do it there's pad ass throughout the whole boat as you can see um and also down here that's going to come in handy whenever i put up my my drag chain i can just run my core straight through out to the back of the boat Sorry, the light's terrible. You got two scuppers in the back in your tank well, so if you ever do get water in it, which you probably shouldn't unless you turtle over, but if you do, you can drain your water out there. On the side, going going over to the seat on the side, you have these things called, whoo, I about lost my paddle there. They're called perch pads. Something new, Bonafide came out with. This boat is so stable, you can stand on the perch pads on either side of the seat, and you can, um, stand and fish it's crazy how stable it is and how it works you know I was kind of cautious when I first saw those but it they really put like I said a lot of thought and effort into making this thing the most stable cock on the market and they have going over to the seat this is a the seat double as a lower seat and a, and a higher seat so you can change the settings on it and basically trim out trim out you know however you want to sit and basically how they did that it locks the seat in this is the high position and you're sitting probably a foot and a half off the deck of the boat so it is perfect for sitting and being above the boat and just because that seat is elevated does not you will not lose your center of gravity whatsoever due to the catamaran top hole it keeps it stable throughout the whole thing it's it's fantastic i couldn't believe it when i first saw it um but basically if you ever do want to switch i'm not going to on here but you basically just flip these locks right here flip them over and as you can see it moves the latches back and you can basically lean forward as you can see you can lean forward on it pull this cord and it'll basically fold in the back legs and it'll lower your seat down to the basically the top of the top of the boat itself i'm going to go and lock that back in moving on on each side of your boat you also you got your paddle bungees that you can hold your paddle and also a nice sturdy handle where it's not going to cut in your fingers or anything like that really durable hard plastic handle it's not the the flappy rubber ones that always get in the way um that is a very good sturdy handle and you got that on both sides and also pad eyes to attach wherever you need to moving on under the seat as you can tell there's a lot of storage that is that is for the junk drawer something new that came out with as you can see there's a track system right here so your junk drawer is actually on a track system so if you loosen it up you slide you slide it on out you need to access all your tackle and actually it's not slid all the way forward 
um, but you can slide it all the way out. It actually goes up farther than that when my bolt came out, but then it slides back so it keeps it out of your way. And also what I'm gonna add to this, this is one thing that's coming here in the near future. I'm gonna put the Yak Attack cup holder right here to re basically remove this locking system and basically use my cup holder as my locking system so I can you know, keep my coffee in there, my drinks, or uh, soft plastics, anything like that. I can just keep in the cup holder. As you can see, those killer new pads they came out with, I mean, those are very thick pads. They're on there very well, so you should have no issues with slippage or um, those peeling off. They put a lot of time and effort into that. Moving on to the center pod. Well, let me go back here. here. As you can see, moving on past the past the junk drawer and past the seat, you can see where they cut into on both sides of the boat to give you, you can probably see it better on the other side, but this will allow you to add more storage to the boat if you wish, which I'm going to. There's actually these net things you can get from all sorts of suppliers. They actually, you either rivet it in or screw it into each side, so you basically keep your soft plastics wherever you want to in that net, and it's kind of on a bungee system where it's not just flopping around, it kind of keeps it tight to the side of the wall. So that's a cool thing they added into the boat because they knew a lot of people want to be adding into that net system. Moving on to the dry pod. This dry pod right here is killer. It is fantastic. It is, you know, I was very, very cautious and very worried about, you know, having this dry pod. I know, I know a lot of the other boats are coming with them, but uh, I, I didn't know how I wanted to feel about it at first. But uh, once I got my hands on it, I knew it was it was going to be a game changer. Basically, you got your center dry pod. This is dry pod. When I say dry pod, it is completely waterproof. There's a waterproof seal on the inside so you can keep your wallet, keys, so on and so forth in there. How I have it set up, I put my Lorentz HDS5 on a, on a ball mount right here. Basically, I just drilled a hole. I wanted to put a track, like a three inch track system, but I was trying to save money, so I just basically drilled a hole and put that ball there so I can basically take it on and off or do whatever I want to do. And then basically I ran my wires and my battery into my dry pod and I still have plenty of storage right here to add wallet, keys, whatever you want to add there. Once you lock that back, the cool thing about this dry pod, if you don't, if say you're on the lake and you want to use a fish finder but then you want to go to the river, you can actually get a separate dry pod and basically have two and you can pull this one out because it has your transducer and all, all your cables and, and battery and fish finder on it and basically pull that out completely and fit a new dry pod down in there. That's something that I will be picking up also. Probably when Fletch goes to get his next shipment, I'm gonna ask him to pick me up one of those and uh, where I can just take it on and off if I ever wanna go to the river. But as you can tell, whenever I flip that up, it's got your transducer mounted perfectly to the bottom of the dry pod. And also that'll, that'll also hold a side scan transducer, those typically be longer and bigger. That'll hold that to the max. And the good thing about this is, I was worried about it at first, mount my transducer straight to there because there's not a cover guard on the back side. But actually that transducer, once you mount it, is actually flush to the bottom of the boat. And then also the catamaran stick out lower. So basically you should have no worries when going over rocks, logs, whatever it might be. It shouldn't be damaging your transducer no matter what. So really cool feature and also you can access um, there's a double hinge system throughout this whole boat, but on this one on the dry hatch you can access it this way too there you go, Flip it right over and I can access it to the back side as you can tell right here I've added the Hobie wiring wiring kit so it keeps that watertight seal and also I can run my wires through I believe Hobie makes some wiring kits and also West Marine makes some just like that so Whenever you get your boat or the boat you're using now, check those out. It's a good way to keep your keep it nice, clean, and fresh, and uh, hide your wires, but also keep a watertight seal. Moving on, you got your track system. Your track system on the side of where your foot pegs are. And another thing I want to touch on is, you know, whenever you get a brand new boat and they have a track system, you know, almost all kayaks are coming with a track system now, but you always have to double double check these because a lot of the times when you get your other boats, because it's happened to me in the past, these are loose. I don't know if it comes from frayed or whatever it might be, but those get loose. But whenever I open this up, took the plastic right off, this thing is tight. This thing ain't going nowhere. I'm moving the whole boat and that, that track system is not moving whatsoever. So... It's a great little thing, you know, and, and I know any company could do that, but the good thing about that is, is, you know, that just shows you Luther and the guys over at Bonafide actually put a lot of thought and effort into, 
you know, making this thing, as soon as you rip it out of the package, you're ready to rock and roll. Moving on down to the foot pegs. These new foot pegs are fantastic. Another good thing they came up with, you know, a lot of the times, you know, you have to figure out that sweet spot in that hole that you want to fit your peg, your foot peg, peg into. But with this, it's, it's almost like a track system. So basically, you can slide this. There's a little latch on the back right there. You can slide that latch and you can put your foot bag wherever it might be and it can fit an eight foot guy or it can fit a four foot guy. I mean, it's you can have your pegs and not have to worry about them slipping or being off track or off centered. You can get that in there and it'll stay in there strong. Very, very, very cool little feature they added there. And they got those on both sides, obviously, with the pad on top. That's a good feature to have. Moving on to the front or the front of the, the center, you have, uh, I think it's about a four inch track system on each side. That one's holding my camera mount right here. And then also, I uh, should touch base, I just put a, the paddle holder on the track system, the Yagatak paddle holder. I think it's the Roto Grip, I believe it's called. Um, I should put that on this track system just to keep that paddle secure. And But this is probably the best part of the whole boat. It's made in the USA. Yeah, America, baby. You know you got a good product when it's made in the USA. You Hallelujah. But uh, moving on back, this is the killer new, move my paddle, the killer new front hatch. It's a new thing they come up with, and it is a, it, it kind of is sleek and clean, but also it, it serves a purpose. So as you can tell, there's ridges in this top hatch, which allows you to, if you notice, down at your jump drawer, you have, we can put the butt of your rods cut out already into the jump drawer. So if you're a type of person that keeps your rods in the middle of your boat or in the middle of your feet, then you just run your butts right here, butts of your rods, put them in the groove, and then put it on down to the big old ball strap, put your rod tips here, and it keeps them secure, it keeps them out of the way, and it keeps them from banging up against the boat and it making a lot of noise and possibly breaking your rods. So that's a, it's a cool little feature they come up with. But the biggest thing about this front hatch is the double hinge system that they came out with when they started these boats. Double hinge system means basically you've got two hinges on each side of your, of your hatch. So you can open it from this side and look at all that storage down there. Overnight camping trips, rods, I mean you can, sky's the limit whenever you can hold it and it runs to the full length of the boat. So that's a huge thing to have. But the cool thing about it is when you're on the water, you can only access it from this point. But whenever you're trying to get your rods in there, you know, storing them up before you take off home, you, uh, whenever you, whenever you get off the water or, or getting the boat loaded up in the truck, you want to have somewhere to put your rods, you can put them in the front hole. You can put them in the hole up through the front hatch because this opens up from this way too. Ain't that just sweet? I mean, that's just bad to the A. I'm not going to say that word, but, uh, that's just killer. It's a cool little feature that came up with it. It's fantastic. I love it. I mean, that's that's gonna that's another game changer they came up with and also if you notice on each side you got your pad eyes for anything else you want to add to it moving up back to the ball strap this thing is a very high grade I mean durable rubber strap to it it's a dual purpose as you know for your, slide your paddle up underneath but also for your rod tips um, and the good thing about it is a lot of those rod straps or those um, paddle straps up front they're very loose and just flimsy but with this one i mean you really got to dig down in there and get your paddle up underneath there and that thing is just sturdy i mean you can have your look at that most of the time you use those other those other ones they're just they're just too flimsy and they they mess you all up and they just your paddle falls off and everything but that's a very tight very high grade rubber paddle strap that's going to keep your your paddle in in there all the time also, as you can tell, they added the pad, the pad up front so your paddle's not hitting the plastic and, and banging up against it. Keeps it quiet and more stealthy to get them fished. And obviously on the front, you have your front handle. And also, a couple more things I want to add to it. Basically, I don't really have to add a lot to the boat. But um, a couple more things I'm going to add is I'm going to add an anchor wizard. I'm actually going to put an anchor wizard, anchor wizard right there where that, where that ball mount is. I'm going to run the line down this slot right here and as you can tell it goes right on the ball strap and then I'm just going to drop my anchor right in between there. Killer. Keeps it up out of the way 
and it's going to be a great feature because that's the cool thing about this boat and i've said it a hundred times is they actually put thought and effort into after the fact of buying the boat that what are what all of our our customers are going to be putting on this boat they put everything they need so basically whenever you get off the store shelf or the dealer shelf it is ready to rock and roll and you all you gotta do is add your things to it and you're ready to rock and roll and the only other thing i'm going to add to it is going to be my drag chain i'm going to put it right here my dog leash drag chain i'm going to slide down there i'm actually going to run the cord right over top in these outlet eyelets right here and then down the back side so whenever i'm river fishing i can slow down and i'm not passing all the good fishing holes let me get the camera switched back around and I'll end this sucker because I'm getting long. Alright guys, so that is the new and improved the Killer Bonafide SS127. It is a great boat, it is a stable boat, and it is a solid made in the USA boat. That's hard to come by these days. Um, but that that's kind of the rundown. I know it was kind of short and sweet and then I kind of drug it out a little bit here and there. Um, but uh, I hope you enjoyed this video if you did. Please like and subscribe and, and comment down below. And if you have any more questions whatsoever about the boat, please let me know. And um, and I will get, like I said, I'm still staying strong. I'm, I'm getting back with you within a, within a few days of commenting. And bear with me throughout this next year. i got a busy year ahead of me between the tournament director for Georgia Kite Fishing and my family and all this other stuff going on. That uh, It's going to be kind of slow on video content, but I'm going to do my best to get you whatever y'all need. And, and get you as much video as possible. I will be carrying y'all with all my tournaments this year, so be looking out for that. Um, every tournament, I will have my GoPro with me, and I will be filming the whole thing from start to finish. So that'll be a cool little thing, kind of give you an insight. If you're interested in the kite fishing, it'll actually give you the you know, the tools and necessity and the information you need for, term, for kayak tournament fishing. So keep in mind, guys, and guys, if you are wanting, if you are a dealer, and you do not have this boat in your shop, and you don't have no no thought to getting this boat, then you're not a kite dealer no more. Bottom line, you're not. You are not a kite dealer is because this is going to be the game changer, not only for the 2018 season, but for years to come. Bonafide is not going nowhere, and this is going to put kite fishing on the map. So if you ain't got it, get it in your shop now. They're going quick. Westbrook Supply has already, they had the first shipment from Bonafide Kites, and they only have one left. That's the Hondo Orange. And after this weekend, it's probably not going to be there no more. And his next shipment gets in, I believe, in February. So contact Fletch or go to WestbrookSupplyCompany.com. Get his information, contact him, and get your butt in one of these boats. And guys, if you live in the Georgia area and you want to demo this boat, try this boat out, send me a message, find me on Facebook, get my cell phone number, and uh, I'll meet you out there and we'll get you in the boat, guys. Stay classy, guys. If you fish, I'm jealous. If you ain't in the same boat as me, guys, keep them tight lines. Deuces!